Hello again everybody, this is Amergan and you're very welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Fleet Command Gate. And I've kind of mishmashed two videos I had an idea for together here, guys. Uh, one about the differences between the Founder server and other, uh, another tests that are going on on other servers like that Call to Arms, which we've covered already. The, the refining rates here, guys, which again we've covered already, but is a big cause for consternation uh, out there on other servers when people see that we've got these extra refining options on the Founder server and nobody else has them. Presumably this is a, a, a thing that's in long term testing mode uh, before it's rolled out to other people and um, we've looked at a number of these things guys uh, uh, and I've mashed this kind of thinking together later on we're going to take a look at the shenanigans on the founder server and the war with bomb and we'll come to that shortly uh, but right now the differences in the founder server and other servers we shout out to Thaler once again he's made a suggestion there guys that uh, the content creators could perhaps be put onto a server with God mode to uh, test these uh, these events uh, before they go live. And although I'm not against that idea, guys, I don't think it should be the preserve of content creators. I think others like Thaler and Hugo and other guys uh, that contribute would be ideal candidates for tests and something like that, should that ever come to fruition. Uh, and I think that uh, perhaps the content creators could be the conduits through which this could happen. We could maybe make suggestions uh, about guys like that who are regular contributors to us in terms of the, the, the test and analyzing that they have done themselves so if scopely if you're listening you're interested in that uh, give us a shout and we'll certainly be happy to suggest to you a number of players that are out there that regularly tic tac with us and share information who might be useful to yourselves if you were to willing to offer them god mode on a private server to test all of this stuff so we'll move on slightly from that guys you've got the call to arms like i said tested on other servers you've got the ref uh, refining options being tested there the extra refining options on the founder server a long time and this is one of the things that's come to my attention uh, recently enough is that you guys out there don't seem to have these uh, mining daily mining events you just don't have you seen the power steel one go by and the power steel one will be followed the following day by this titanium one and essentially you just go out and you mine your materials guys and you complete that daily event and you get your bonus materials now that works particularly well because uh, you don't actually have to take the materials home your miner can be over its protected limit and um, people can come and attack your miner and steal your shit but you will still get the points when your miner is destroyed there for that event so uh, it's a nice way of collecting the bonus uh, um, materials the bonus resources guys and um, you can see there the dilithium and then that'll follow in through to the g3 materials ore and then gas and then crystal and co we currently have a crystal one on the founder server uh, and we have bomb coming out and taking out all of our miners when we're mining like that but like i say that's okay it costs me something like 7k to repair my envoy with my research and with it being maxed out 7k 8k titanium on an envoy uh, but i might get uh, i might get 20 30 40k bonus uh, materials even though what i'm sitting on could be stolen uh, a very nice event again i would suggest that this should be rolled out to other servers i don't see why it wouldn't um it's something we could certainly call for if you have happened to see this on your other server i'd be very interested to hear from uh, about it guys but right now I'm going to move in to our War with Bomb and Founder Server shenanigans. So guys, we can see here the uh, Crystal Mining Expedition daily that we have on today. A little under 9 hours left on that. And I hope you guys enjoyed that segment just on the, the variances that are out there when it comes to the different servers. And uh, the different bits of testing that seems to be going on by Scopely. Uh, on the different servers that are out there. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that once again, guys. So again, Discord, uh, leave your comments below, all of that. Keep it civil, guys. Don't, uh, I really don't want to be deleting comments uh, from trolls. So, uh, so genuine chat, genuine discussion. That's what I'm here for, generate discussion. Um, and you'll see from this, guys, this uh, all accumulates 10K for that one. Um, 13 for that, that's 23.3k, and then another 20, that's 43.3k, so whatever I've taken home with my, under my protected limits, and that's probably a 50k profit in G3 uh, raw ore, or, uh, crystal, sorry, and ore if I'm doing it on that day, and uh, that's despite what's been stolen out of my miners over the protected limit, guys, uh, 50k reward um, from that. So again, leave your comments all of that there, guys, and I'll get back to as many of you as I can. But this war with Bomb, um, Bomb uh, have been stealing my uh, resources today. 
Um, and I've been uh, out to, to uh, ambush a few of the guys. Um, uh, Yaka, we shout out to Yaka. Um, Yaka's been hitting uh, hitting miners all day. It's, it's sitting here on a bank holiday, guys, and. Um, and Yaka, I spotted him. I spotted him out and about hitting my miners. I'm losing about seven k titanium on a miner, and then whatever he gets out of the mining ship, um, like I say, rewards in that. Regardless, coming home um, for the event, um, and I managed to nab Yaka a few times when he was out and about. He certainly lost an awful lot more than I did um, with his warships. He'd take out a, a, an envoy, and uh, I'd take out a warship. Um, so he's probably lost uh, three, four, five times more than what I lost in terms of Tritanium. Uh, adopting this pest-like strategy, um, it seems as though we had a chat with Taz at one point and basically think that uh, they can't compete with the base raiding that's going on uh, and therefore have to turn to this pest-like behaviour. Uh, so I'm going to explain the bomb in a wee while uh, what's going on, the way it's supposed to work, why they're not with the program and hopefully I can come back with Zed at some point in the future. Uh, Zed seems like a cool enough guy. He certainly seems of a decent taste in music. Uh, so I'm hoping that myself and Zed can kind of thrash this out a little bit and hopefully he's listening to this and he will uh, he'll go through some of this with me and what he thinks and what I have to say about this now very shortly. But I'm also going to go through with how it's working guys for all of you people on other servers who are interested in how the, how the founder server have agreed uh, to be able to mine um, but also uh, go to war with each other and attack each other bases and then whatever uh, whatever it is you, you have heard and whatever you've figured out yourselves compare it to what we're doing guys and uh, and let me know what you think and um, we'll come to that very shortly uh, toward the end of the video uh, what you've seen there is Yaka taking out Taz and uh, he'd hit me here with me envoy like I say maybe 7 8k with research and everything with a maxed out envoy maybe um, but one of the things uh, Yaka needs to learn here, and this is what Bomb need to learn in general probably, uh, I know they've got Solace there now, heavy hitter, uh, well trained in Hum, um, but Yaka needs to be faster moving off these mines if he's going to take them out, like because uh, it w he was easy prey there today like uh, because he didn't move faster, and maybe he was happy to let me kill his warships, I don't understand why, unless he maybe wanted to be captured in the footage, like, but uh, I haven't spoke to Yaka, I don't know what type of guy he is at the moment, but... Um, He'd need to be faster if he wants to take on Hum here, but it certainly keeps us on our toes. It's good training exercises for us to uh, uh, to remind us that um, there are people out there, no matter what mining agreement you've got, um, that uh, they're going to take they're going to take your miners out. Um, they're going to be out thinking that they can put it up to you. Um, it is uh, it is designed around PvP ultimately, guys. So uh, this all keeps it uh, entertaining for us. Uh, so I uh, thank you to Bum for. Uh, for not laying down, I very much, uh, very much appreciate their uh, persistence and uh, and their uh, assertiveness. They're 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 not afraid to stand up to him, and uh, I I like that. Um, so uh, so yeah, I shout out the bomb, and we'll discuss just how it's going down now in a wee minute. Um, just a wee shout out as well to Ockham. Uh, Ockham found a few bomb bases and went down. This is what uh, Yaka would have been given out about. These guys probably can't compete with the likes of these intrepids and stuff, so they're out there hitting our miners and resorting to this pest-like behaviour, while guys like Ockham and the other lads are out there grabbing their bases and taking it, whatever it is they've got. Um, so uh, a lot of you guys might be in this situation, might look at a, an alliance like Hum and think, Jesus, how do we compete with you guys and stuff like that there? And I'm going to explain what uh, what an agreement is actually supposed to be about. Uh, but it's based around uh, having common sense and having a bit of respect for each other. So there, there for example, there's Rogue Belly Dancer. You guys have met Belly uh, before. I've interviewed Belly and I'm going to interview Zed, like I say, and we'll talk. And maybe we'll do a wee section, guys, around uh, meeting the founders and meeting the personalities on the founder server. And Belly's certainly one of them. He tapped my base earlier, keeps me on my toes. Luckily, I was uh, out and about ambushing bomb at the time, um, doing my bomb disposal bit for the community, and uh, and and I managed to defuse a few bombs uh, in the process. Whilst Belly found the base with no shield and uh, tapped me up, came in for some tea and biscuits, and on his way then. Uh, but keeps you on your toes and reminds you to get them shields up or you're going to lose your shit. Simple as that. And uh, thank you, Belly, for the visit. You're always welcome, of course. Um, a few others knocking about in this system. We've seen Billy was up there, but uh, Belly, Belly didn't land his base. So uh, it, was, it was a love tap just to see and on his way. Um, 
So yeah, we, we'll always have to contend with people that are doing that. But there's my base being hit. Uh, shout out to Savage Garden. Savage Garden inflicted the biggest draining on me technically in terms of the amount of resources that I've ever received. Um, uh, it's still not as painful as the pearly draining because that was titanium the pearly got. Um, but at the same time, technically it's... Uh, it's the biggest drain they've got that was recent enough so shout out to him and what it's about is adopting an attitude like i mentioned belly there people like keeping it cool keeping it civil not getting too serious and then you can maybe go into an, an agreement situation um where you work together uh, within an alliance and then with other alliances uh, enemies or not so you can see there for example ironsides taking over the 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 watch in uh, afratalis waiting on yakka to come back so ironside is gonna i don't know if he got anybody yet i'll touch base with him later but ironside's taken over the the wee bit of vigilance there and he's gonna ambush yakka if yakka comes back into afratalis and um we work together nicely in HUM, but we also work together on the Founder server quite well, uh, despite all the difficulties that we've been through. Um, we, we, we managed to get some sort of agreement, and essentially the way that it works, guys, and listen up now when I, when I explain this to you, especially bomb guys and anybody on another server. So essentially what we're dealing with here, guys, is that all your bases are fair game. Okay, so uh, I'm going to shield up here now, for example, because somebody could come and hit my base and I'm sitting on a little bit of resources there that I don't want to lose. Now I usually like to be on empty resources so that they can hit away but I'm building up a few resources I need to do a bit of research and a bit of building so I'm protecting them and staying shielded and the situation we're in demands that I do that because I'm going to get raided, my base is going to be raided. It's not going to break any agreement because it's part of the agreement. So we're allowed to raid each other's bases, we're allowed to attack any warship in open space if we find it. Um, but we don't hit miners. Uh, and so that's the message to bomb essentially to begin with but it's also the message to all of you guys that when you've got events especially like we've got where it's a mining event and there are other mining events on uh, other servers as well so it, the same rules can apply but uh, remember that uh, if we let each other mine and we agree on certain fundamentals for us for example it's uh, grab a mine if you can if somebody goes and knocks somebody off a mine, go and grab it and use a gentleman's agreement to try to get that mine back if you feel that it was a pest that knocked you off that mine. We've been here dozens of times, so it's easier for us to agree a certain amount of vague rules. We don't have to write so many of them down. We've been there. I've shared that with some of you guys. Uh, the, the rules that we've had uh, uh, previously to uh, regards mining agreements and different things that we've done. We've been here before, but essentially we work on the basis of trust. Even though we don't trust each other at all, we work on the basis is that we trust that they'll obey the rules and if there's any underhanded fuckery that goes on uh, then we'll call it and it'll be back to war so basically we've tired uh, ourselves out so much with going to war with, with each other that we're we allow ourselves to take a breather we allow ourselves to relax we allow ourselves to uh, to recuperate and get ready for the next round so no agreement is ever going to last forever we're fully aware of this things will change but until then why not have an agreement where we'll raid the life out of each other's bases drain every Every last drop from each other's bases if we catch each other with our shields down but if we see your miners we're gonna pass on by and let you mine in peace and um, if you lose that mine well then somebody's gonna take that mine and if you don't like the fact that somebody's taken your mine take it up at your leaders and let them thrash it out and if the leaders can't get on and adopt a cool attitude towards each other well then it's war and it's war until you wear yourselves out to such a degree that nobody wants it anymore and common sense needs to prevail. So essentially, the common sense attitudes and the mature people on, on your server are the people that need to step up and talk sense into the people that uh, that just think that they can go around doing what they want and ruin it for everybody else. Uh, there comes a time where you realise that your server's getting toxic, that people are taking the game too seriously. Uh, and it's time for the mature heads and the leaders, the true leaders on your servers, irrespective of your level, the true leaders on your server, the people with the sense, they're the ones that need to step up, join together and say, right, uh, we're having no more of this, this is the agreement and you will be uh, vilified on our server if you do not uh, uh, agree with the positive direction that we want to take the community and the game in general so they, we, we've we learned this lesson the hard way on the founder server anybody's watched my videos knows uh, knows the crack when it comes to that and so i'd like to i'd like to put a, a wee uh, a wee request out there to any of the founders that if they're about uh, I, i'm more than happy to talk to you about any of this stuff and um 
we can chat about it go over it and uh, maybe set maybe send some of our experience out there onto other servers what it's like and how how do we uh, how do we keep a little bit of civility and order on our own servers uh, here in the founder server certainly we have plenty of mature people who do, do have a genuine respect for each other regardless if they like each other and um and yeah, maybe we have as founders something to offer the wider community. Discuss our mind and agreements. Discuss why they work. Let people learn from us. Uh, so the invitations there. We might do a, a little bit of a meet the founder session, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so enough of me rabbit non guys. That's my thoughts on it. Uh, I hope the video has been somewhat entertaining, um, somewhat interesting to you. Uh, so of course as always uh, come in the discord and meet us and chat to us um, leave your comments below please keep them civil um, and uh, until the next video guys um, look after yourselves and look after each other and I'll catch all of you guys again very very shortly cheers <laughs>